My name is Amy Ryan, and I play Mary in Detroit. I remember being very excited and very nervous simultaneously by these characters and by the situation because it really, each scene is so active. Uh, if something hasn't just happened, it is about to, and you feel that in the air. You feel these, that they're all on this precipice. Actually, and that's a word that our director has used before. They're all standing on this precipice at this moment in their lives, and uh, you really feel that it's quite palpable. Mary is uh, a paralegal. She lives in some Midwestern suburban town, not necessarily Detroit. Detroit is more a metaphor. Um, and I think she's just kind of stuck. She is stuck by things and owning things and thinking she should buy new things to replace the old things. And she hasn't really experienced life. Uh, you know, like many people, we just go from day to day, paycheck, try to go to paycheck to paycheck and save a little on the side. And she's starting to feel the crunch. Uh, her husband is newly uh, laid up and that whole world is crumbling in on her. She drinks too much, that is not a similarity. But no, I would say, you know, Mary has a lot of fear in her life. And sure, that's something I have as, as a mother, as, you, as a mother to a young child. There's a lot of fear, there's a lot of what ifs and worst case scenarios that run through my mind every day. And uh, I try to mix that and uh, have fun at the same time. Um, so, but when Mary meets her new neighbors, she's uh, taught that lesson to let go. She lets go a little too much, maybe, but who knows. <laughs> I wanted to work with Annie for a while. We've been circling around each other. Um, I wanted to do a new play. Um, I hadn't done a play in about seven years now, so when I was looking for one, I, I knew I wanted it to be a new play. Um, and then this one in particular, I don't know, I just think because all the characters are so active, again, um, uh, and it, it's a wonderful ensemble piece and everybody gets their turn. Everybody gets called out on the dance floor, so to say. Uh, and I like sharing that experience and that stage. And then we have an incredible company that they put together. So. Come on, 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 come on. I would say um, stay in New York if you can. I think New York City is one of the best educators of character. Um, you're going to meet every type of person. Uh, just by riding the subway. Um, I'll tell you what, don't take no for an answer. If your parents say, well, maybe you should go to dental school, <clears throat> unless that's your passion, do that. But if, if being an actor is your passion, then see it through. And if it turns out it's not, then you be the one to say no. But if a director says no, it's not for you, don't listen. They're wrong. The next director will be right. Come on, come on, come on.